Hi guys, so welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. So now, let's talk about the Green's Theorem. So, we will now see a way of evaluating the line integral of a smooth vector field around a simple closed curve. So, paano natin i-evaluate yung integral niya pag nasa simple closed curve tayo? So now, a vector field f of x, y is equal to b of x, y of, uh, times i plus q of x, y j is a smooth If it is component function, p of x, y and q of x, y are both smooth. So, <laughs> yung momented, ano yung smooth, no? So, meaning yung smooth is something yung gaya nga sabi ko, yung graph niya is something represented by a line, by a curve, something na ganun, smooth curve. Kasi, may ibang klase kasi ng curve. Gaya nga sabi ko, yung curve na medyo irregular, something, regular curve, something na ganun, hindi siya smooth, hindi, siya, hindi natin siya consider as smooth. So, sabi nga niya, is smooth yung buong vector field natin pag yung component function niya na dalawa yung p of x comma y sa q of x comma y is something smooth then okay so now let's have theorem so paano ba natin i-evaluate yung mga ganitong klaseng integral so let r be a region so again region hindi na curve so region mismo sa loob ng curve yung pinag-uusapan dito so let r be a region in r2 whose boundary is a simple closed curve c so yun nga gaya ng closed curve so since nag-start tayo sa curve dun sa paligid niya pag-usapan na natin yung part sa loob niya Okay, so let R be a region in R2. Yung yung sabi. So which which is piecewise smooth. So again, piecewise smooth. So yung curve is a piecewise smooth. Let f of x comma y is equal to f of x comma y i plus q of x comma y be a smooth vector field. So yung nga, be a smooth vector field. Define on both R and C. Both R at C. Tama ba? Both R at C. So check ko lang sa both definition. Both R and C, both R and C. Ayan, both R and C. So, define siya sa both R and C. R and C. Then, ang sabi ng Green's Theorem, the closed integral of F, of the, of the vector field F, that product, the derivative, or that product, the derivative of the uh, pot, uh, position vector, is just equal to the double integral along the region R. So, again, yung region R na pinag-uusapan. So, meaning, kung yung sa double region, sa double sa region R, uh, that is equal sa Q of P, uh, partial of P with respect sa X minus partial of Q with respect sa Y, D, A. Okay, ganun lang yung gagawin. Ang gagawin mo lang is just partial of P with respect sa X minus partial of Q with respect sa Y, D, A with respect sa over the region R. So, kung ano man yung region na nire-represent siya. So, alam nyo na ibig sabihin yan, since sa region R sa double integral, may gagawin ulit doon. Okay, so where C is at where C is traverse, so that R is always on the left side of C. So left side of C. Paano natin mararepresent natin na sa left side of C siya? Okay, okay, okay. So I guess na, gets na idea ng traverse. So meaning yung R is always the left side of C. Okay, so mamaya pakita ko na lang sa example natin. So, pag sinabi kong traverse on the left side of C, so meaning, yung C Latin is traverse counterclockwise. Ayun na lang. Ayun na lang yung pwede kong sabihin. No? Pag sinabi Latin na si C is traverse so that R is always on the left side. So, pag si R is always on the left side nung C, so meaning, uh, C is traverse counterclockwise direction. So, meaning, positively oriented siya. Pag ganun. So, pag ganun. Pag ganun yung direction, yung arrow. Okay, so now, let's have an example. So, evaluate the closed integral along the curve C of x squared plus y squared dx plus 2xy dy. So, pag nakalagay ganyan, alam mong closed integral siya. Pero, hindi lahat ng closed integral, integral, integral is zero. Again, may mga condition kasi. Tulad nung kanina, uh, tulad nung sa last video na corollary 4.5, no? So, pag meron siya potential vector, tapos alam ko, pag may potential vector, tapos alam ko na siya ay closed curve, or closed curve, das may region dun sa loob niya, therefore, yung integral niya is zero, o yung line integral niya is zero. So, yun yung mga condition. So, tulad naman dito, magiging zero din yung, ito yung integral niya, so, at so, actually, hindi zero integral, wala naman sinabing zero integral dito by Green's theorem. So, sabi, ganyan mo lang siya i-approach. Okay, so now, evaluate the integral, so, yun ang sabi ko, where C is the boundary traverse counterclockwise, so, yun na, traverse counterclockwise of the region R is equal to x of x comma, Uh, x comma y, 0 is less than x, less than 1, and 2x squared is less than y, less than 2x. So, ayun, ito yung region R niya talaga, to be honest. Ito yung magdidictate, ano yung region natin. 
So, kung napapansin mo, pag ginrap natin siya, similar siya sa kaninang example natin. So, let's say ito yung 0.1 comma 2. So, ito yung example natin sa last, last video. So, ito yung 2x squared. Okay, so since traverse siya. Tapos, ito yung 2x. Straight line 2x. So, since traverse siya, so sabi nga ng word na traverse, traverse counterclockwise, so yung direction is something na ganun. So, ito yung C, ito yung region R, yung nasa loob. Okay, so ito yung region R natin. Okay, so yan yung idea niya. Now, alam, ta alam natin na may potential to. So, yung vector field natin na F, which is equal sa x squared. So, yung vector field natin na equal sa x squared plus y squared times i plus 2xy times j. So, ayan yung kanyang vector field na equivalent ha. So, nakalagay na kasi sa bdx dy. So, yung vector field natin na f, meron siyang potential vector. Alam natin na meron siyang potential vector. So, nasolve natin from previous video na ang potential vector na is just equal sa 1 third x cubed plus x y squared. Now, by corollary 4.5 by corollary corollary 4.5 since alam ko na siya ay closed figure again ha, closed figure siya so simple closed curve siya na may region R sa loob. So, alam ko na wala walang ano siya, simple closed curve siya hindi na ini-intersect yung sarili niya. So, by corollary 4.5, yung integral lang niya ay simple ganito. Yung kanyang integral f dr is just equal to 0. So, alam ko na 0 siya. Kasi alam kong close, tapos may potential siya. So, gamit lang yung corollary 4.5, 0 siya. Ganun kabilis. Now, gamit si Green's Theorem, verify natin kung tama yan. Okay, so suppose by Green's Theorem, so R is the shaded region. So, meron tayong region na nalagay. So, yun nga, R is the shaded region, yun nasa gitna dun. So, since R is the shaded region, so by Green's Theorem, by Green's Theorem, at Green ang ball pen ko, sakto naman, kung yung P of X kama Y latin dyan, is given as X squared plus Y squared, tapos yung P of X kama Y naman natin dyan, is given as 2XY. Okay, so ano mangyari? The integral, the closed integral along the closed curve C, or the simple closed curve C, of X squared plus Y squared DX plus 2xy dy okay, is just equal sa double integral along the region R. Okay, so again, ha, magagana lang to pag meron kang dalawa. So, alam ko na is smooth to. Smooth tong curve na to kasi circle lang siya. So, generally, baka circle or ellipse, circle lang siya. Ito naman ay something na straight line or something na uh, pag inrap mo siya, uh, ano ba yung tsura nito? Basta something na medyo pagka straight line siya. So, nasa three-dimensional naman yung pagka-agrap niya. So, this is something na partial of Q. This is partial of Q with respect sa Y, uh, X rather, minus partial of P with respect sa Y, then DA. So, without solving or without finding what is the region. So, di ko nalalagay yung region na. So, kung DA gagamitin ko, so gagawin ko DX, DY, no? So, DX, DY, so yung DY ko ang region na sa loob is DX yung huli actually. So, to be honest, kung gagamitin ko yung actual region na this is just equal sa integral from 0 to 1, integral from uh, from 2x squared to 2x, tapos yung partial of q with respect sa x, yung part na yun, kung ano mo masasolve natin dyan, tapos dy dx. Okay, pero syempre, solve lang natin using to. This is partial derivative, uh, double Double integration, partial derivative tuloy. So, double integral along the partial of Q with respect sa X. Ano yun? Partial of Q with respect sa X, that is 2Y. Partial of P with respect sa X, uh, with respect sa Y, is that is, with respect sa Y, is that is simply 2Y then. So, this is minus 2Y, then DA. So, therefore, this is just equal sa double integral along the region R ng 0, DA, which is equal sa 0. Okay, so aware tayo na ito ay simply ganun din. Ito ay 2y minus y. So, which is 0 din yung kakalabasan. Okay, so parehas lang naman din yung mangyayari. So, since kaya naman yung solve, so pag hindi masasolve, kunyari, masasolve pa, kunyari, lumabas yung 3, 
3x something, gamitin mo na yung boundaries o yung region ng ginagamit. Yeah. Okay? So, napansin mo, parehas na lang kinalabasan. So, by Green's Theorem, na-verify natin na zero talaga yung line integral niya nung function o yung ating ma vector field na yan. Okay? So, another, let's have an example. So, check ulit natin itong isa. So, let f of x comma y is equal to p of x comma y i plus q of x comma y j, where p of x comma y is equal to negative y over x squared plus y squared, and q of x comma y is equal to x over x squared plus y squared. And let r be the region, and let r be the region, x comma y such that 0 is less than x squared less than, less than x squared plus y squared less than equal to 1. So, kung napansin mo, ang region niya is something sa circle, sa unit circle. So, ang curve niya is something na nasa unit circle siya. So, pag dinraw natin siya, nasa unit circle natin siya. So, okay na, unit circle siya. So, so, drawing ko na lang dito. So, this is ito yung curve o yung region. Yung region R natin nasa loob, syempre. Ayan yung curve, ayan yung region R natin. Okay, so, ang goal natin is find the derivative or the, integri, the integral na ito using ito. So, so note, solve mo na natin yung partial of P. So, partial of P with respect sa uh, Y. So, partial of P with respect sa Y, ito yun, no? So, since with respect sa Y, that is something na oh, may Y sa taas, may Y sa ilalim. So, something na siya ay quotient rule, no? So, that's BDU minus UDB over B squared. So, BDU minus UDB. BDU, so BDU, that is X squared plus Y squared. As far as the derivative ng negative Y is negative 1. Minus UDB, so this is negative Y, then partial derivative ng X squared plus Y squared with respect sa Y is something na equivalent sa 2Y. All over Now, this is something x squared plus y squared raised sa 2. So, this is simply equal sa negative x squared minus y squared minus minus plus. This is plus 2y squared equal to sa x squared plus y squared. Then, raised sa 2. So, check ko lang kung tama yung sagot ko. Yun, tama naman. So, therefore, this is just equal sa y squared minus x squared all over x squared plus y squared raised sa 2. So, yun yung partial derivative of P with respect sa y. So, check natin yung partial derivative naman ni Q with respect sa x. So, partial derivative of Q with respect sa x. So, syempre, another thing, quotient rule ulit siya. So, BDU minus UDB. So, this is x squared plus y squared times 1 minus x. So, times derivative of partial derivative of x squared plus y squared with respect sa x is that is simply 2x. Okay, then all over x squared plus y squared equal to. So, this is just simply equivalent lang naman sa, uh, I think ito ay, hmm. so this is y squared minus x squared minus 2x squared, that is x squared over x squared plus y squared raised sa 2. Okay, so therefore, the integral along the curve C nung F dr is just equal sa double integral along the region R nung uh, ano yung function, this is just simply partial of Q with respect sa X, partial of Q with respect sa X, this is just equal sa y squared minus x squared all over x squared plus y squared minus y squared minus x squared over x squared y squared raised sa 2. Okay, then this is just dA. So, obviously, this is just integral along the region R of 0 dA, which is equal lang sa 0. So, yun, nagkataon na naman na siya ay 0. So, again, kung paano natin ilalagay naman yung region. So, sir, paano naman naman ilalagay yung region? So, something region na x squared plus y squared less than equal to 1. So, meaning, start tayo sa gapang muna sa, kunyari, gapang muna sa y, that is from 0 to 1. Tapos, gapang sa x, that is from 0 to x. Pero, since yung integrant natin is something na 0 lagi, kasi yung partial of q 
with respect to x minus partial of p with respect to y is equal always to 0. So therefore, the integral is 0. So note, hindi lagi ganito yung integral niya. Hindi lagi 0. Tandaan. So pinapakita ko lang yung gamit nung uh, Green's theorem. So try ko maghanap. So sa mga next example, so bukas naman, actually tomorrow pa ulit ako magbibidyo sa mga next eh. So magpapakita ko ng ang Green's theorem na kung saan wala namang zero, hindi magsisiro yung integral. So, tatry ko maghanap nun. Actually. Okay. So, di ba naman tayo tapos? Meron pa naman ako explain dito sa video na to. So, to. Kapagod. Tatlong video pa lang yung nabibidyo ko, pero para akong naubos na. Sobrang hirap. Sobrang hirap i-explain. So, yun yung mga consideration. No, consider. So now, ito naman, no, Green's theorem can be extended to multiply connected sim connected region. So, ano ba sir yung isa? Yung pinag-uusapan natin una is a region without hole. Again, a region without hole. So, walang butas. So, tulad nung kanina. So, tulad nung circle na yan. Yung region na yan, pag sinade ko yan, buo yan. Wala yung butas sa loob. Ito rin. Walang butas. Okay? So, another thing, yung ellipse na nasolve natin. Last time. Wala din siyang butas. Sir, may butas sa gitna. Hindi. So, yung shaded region kasi yung kinoconsider. So, shade mo yan, buo yan. Okay? So, ngayon. Uh, anong ang pinapoint out ni sir dito? Ang pinapoint out ni sir is something na yung Green's theorem can be extended to multiply connected region. So, ito nga yung tinatawag na multiply connected region. So, let's say letter A. So, region R with one hole. Ayan yung bilog. Region R with two holes, ayun yung bilog. So, dalawang bilog. Pero, ang nangyari, hinahati ko lang siya sa dalawang region. Again, yung buo na yan ay something na, kunyari, parang smiley, something, ito, donut, or annulus. Okay, so, ang gagawin mo, hatiin mo lang siya into two region. So, region 1, then region 2. So, kasi dalawa lang naman yung nagiging C1. So, C1 dito is something yung nasa loob, yung C2 yung nasa labas. So, ito, C1, C2, C3. O, baliktad yata ako. So, C1 yata. Zoom ko nga konti. So, yun, C1 yung nasa labas, C2 to, then C2, then C3. Ito C1, tapos C2 yung nasa loob. Okay, so, yan yung multiply connected region. So, paano naman i-apply si Green's theorem dyan? So, kung i-apply lahat si Green's theorem dyan, so, kung napansin mo, nagkaroon na ng uh, parang region 1, region 2. So, hinati niya na as is, kumbaga hinati niya, kinalahati niya, na kung saan sakop nung isa, Ah, uh, gato yung gagawin mo. Pag hinati mo yung mayroong hole, make sure na yung region o yung curve nung isang yung curve, yung curve isa tirin sa dalawang region. So tulad nito, yung curve na to, ito yung curve 1, nahati ko siya sa dalawang region. Kumbaga, may curve na conserve sa loob ng R1, may curve na conserve sa loob ng R2. So similar kumbaga, hati rin yung curve doon. Okay, dito rin similar. So dalawa yung curve, dalawa yung dalawang curve na sa loob. So may curve 1, may curve 2, curve 3 na nasa R1 together with curve 1. Sa so, R2, mayroong curve 1, may curve 2, and may curve 3. So, hati. Ganun mo dapat siya. Hati yan. So, another example, ganyan rin, pinagtatlo ko. So, let's say, ganyan. So, make sure na pag hinati mo, ganito. Okay? So, make sure na yung hati niya is something na, ito yung region 1, ito yung region 2. So, make sure na yung magiging hati mo is something na damay lahat. Na magkakaroon ng Uh, magkakaroon ng curve na gumagapang dun sa region 1 tapos magkakaroon ng curve na gumagapang dun sa region 2 lahat sa kanila okay so paano mo i-atta paano yung magiging atake or solution mo pagdating dito so using Green's theorem so using Green's theorem ko ito yung Z1 so ito yung curve so C1 yun yun C2 so close curve pa rin naman siya actually pero multiply connected crop uh, region siya kasi may, 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 may hole so ng F DR this is just equal sa the line, the green theorem along the region 1 nung partial of Q with respect sa X minus partial of P with respect sa Y then DA then plus integral along double integral along line, line 2 ng partial of Q with respect sa X minus partial of P with respect sa Y then DA okay so make sure na magawa mo yung ganong fold so Siyempre, discard mo na rin kung paano hahanapin yung mga parameterization o yung curve nila sa loob. So, hahatiin mo yun actually to be honest. Okay, so now, yun yung sa multiply connected graph. So, focus naman tayo talaga sa simple, sa simple, connect, sa simple connected region. So, yung simple connected region, yun nga pinag-usapan natin yung ellipse, yung circle, tapos yung kaninang uh, shaded region. So, 
for a simply connected region R, i.e. is a region who a region with no holes. So, yun nga, simple. The following can be shown. So, ano ba example nito mga to? So, the following statement are equivalent rather. So, equivalent for a simply connected region R and R2. So, yung ating vector field f of x comma y. So, ganyan, vector field of f of x comma y has a smooth potential f of x comma y. Again, has a smooth potential f of x comma y. So, pag simple connected, automatic meron kang smooth may potential f of x comma y ka. So, bas lang smooth, poten smooth potential f of x comma y. So, sure, yun. So, kagaya nga na nangyari. So, sir, ibig sabihin, sa multiply connected, walang smooth. So, walang potential. Hindi ako sure. Okay? So, kung merong hole, hindi ako sure kung meron siyang potential f. So, it ito ang sabi nga, para lang naman kay simple connected uh, region. So, the integral, so, the close integral of, of f dr is independent of the path for any curve c in r. So, yun nga, independent siya in any path. So, path independence. Pwede ko kung integral, kung integral kunin dito, integral kunin doon. So, yun yung sinasabi niya. Now, yung integral naman, yung close integral niya, along f dr, so f dot product dr is equal to 0 for every simple closed curve c and r. So, pag ikaw ay simple closed curve c and r, so 0 siya. So, gaya nga na nangyari, ginagawa natin. Using Green's theorem, nagiging 0 siya. Then lastly, yung partial derivative of p with respect sa x is equal to partial. Pag nangyari na yung partial derivative of p with respect sa x is equal to partial derivative of q with respect sa y in r, in this case, the differential form p dx plus q dy is exact. So, katulad na itong ginawa natin. So, napansin mo, ang ating p dx plus q dy dito, ang p dx plus q dy latin dito, ang p dx plus q dy latin dito is just equal lang sa negative y x squared plus y squared dx plus x over x squared plus y squared dy. This is, uh, ang, sabi, ang, ang sabi sa kanya, siya ay exact. So, this is exact. Why? Kasi equal yung partial derivative na dalawa. So, similar dito, ito ay also exact. Okay? So, note na meron tayong tinatawag na pag ikaw ay exact, ikaw ay path independence. So, obviously, equivalent to. Pag ikaw ay, pag ikaw ay path independence, automatic ikaw ay exact. So, yun yung mga sinasabi dyan. Okay? So, that's all for this video. So, hoping na makatulong tong property someday sa'yo. So, may kita mo to sa mga advanced calculus mo, I think. So, hoping na maalala mo siya someday. Again, thank you for watching. Hoping na may natutunan at nag-enjoy ka sa topic natin for today.